So this question is based upon the diagram provided up above the question here. So let's take a look at this and then we'll read the information about that diagram and then actually jump into the actual question. So the diagram is looks like a, a, you know, a bar graph. Um, we have colony A, B, and C. The x-axis is weeks after initial treatment. The y-axis is number of insects. And then the title here is insect count for three pesticide treatments. Okay, so then, you know, these different colonies will have different numbers of insects depending upon the time frame after the treatment. And we can see how they compare to each other. For instance, colony C is always higher as soon as we get out to the two weeks and beyond. Um, and it looks like colony A just continues to get lower and lower and lower. Um, so anyway, w those are just some initial, some initial observations. So let's see what the question or the information provides us here. So three colonies of insects were each treated with a different pesticide over an eight-week period to test the effectiveness of the three pesticides. Colonies A, B, and C were treated with pesticides A, B, and C respectively. Each pesticide was applied every two weeks to one of the three colonies over the eight-week period. The bar graph above shows the insect counts for each of the three colonies, zero, two, four, six, and eight weeks after the initial treatment. So something I didn't recognize that I would not have known from just by looking at the, the graph here is each pesticide was applied every two weeks to one of the three colonies over the eight-week period. So let's keep that in mind. So question 13 says, which of the following colonies showed a decrease in size every two weeks after the initial treatment with pesticides? So which one of these went down every two weeks? Well, we kind of already spotted colony A, right? So colony A goes down, further down, further down, further down. So colony A, yes. Colony B is, you know, there, so that's a little down, that's also down. Yeah, so colony B is also going down as well every two weeks. Colony C, right, starts here and then goes up, right? So colony C would not be an answer to this question. So it's just A and B, which makes it one and two, which is answer choice C.